All right, so here is the left inlet ramp, and this is the side baffle. Along here is where I had drawn the line where the front ramp meets the baffle when I was holding this front edge of the ramp up against the opening of the cowling. So I was holding this up against the bottom of the cowling opening and then I marked this line here onto the sidewall. Took the bat or took the cowling off and now I'm fitting this bracket here. This bracket supports the ramp. All right. <clears throat> so this obviously becomes this comes oversized, so you have to trim it. Well, how do you trim it? You keep cutting it down and cutting it down and cutting it down until when the ramp is laying on it and supported by it, just like that, this line, this, this edge of the front ramp is in alignment with your reference mark. So now I know, I'm pretty confident that when I complete making this and I rivet it to the ramp and I screw it in place, the cowling will then be put on and this will fit right to that edge of the cowling. That's kind of the idea. And then after the fact, if I need to bend, if I need to put that that diagonal bend in here somewhere, maybe not all the way back to this corner, maybe just a smaller one. That, of course, is going to change the location of this side, but that's okay. I'm not there yet. But eventually I'm going to have to close up the gap on this side. Remember, I was able to put my finger in here. So this ultimately is going to have to be bent. Maybe. I'm not there yet. But I just want to get this bracket, where'd he go? This bracket figured out so that this will stay, this ramp will stay put a little bit more secure before I start trimming the snorkel that comes up to it. So I'm going to finish that bracket and then we'll see what's next. So just as a double check, I went ahead and put the cowling back on. So I have that bracket temporarily installed underneath the ramp and I've got the cowling back on just to see how this clearance looks. And you can see I've got a little bit of a gap here still. And that's okay for two reasons. One, that bracket gets this angle piece mounted to it. So I can rivet this piece onto the bracket where I need it and then the ramp will lay on top of it. So if I need to, I can adjust this on the bracket before I rivet it to raise or lower the ramp just a little bit. However, I don't think I need to do that because if you look further on in the instructions, there's going to be a piece of the uh, rubber, um, the actual rubber seal is going to go in here. And that goes on top of the ramp, but underneath the cowling. So I'm okay with this little bit of a gap here because that just makes room for that rubber piece to fit in there. So I'm going to leave it like it is. But now this is solid. See, I can't, I can't flex this. This, this doesn't flop around anymore. So now I'm fairly convinced. Oh, well, see, I'm not there yet because I still need to figure out what to do with this gap. If I'm going to put a bend in this to close up that gap, then that's going to severely change the shape of the snorkel that comes up to it. That's quite a large gap to fill by bending. And now if I bend this corner up to fill that gap, I don't know that I'll have enough material on the actual snorkel because I've been trimming it down. And if I pull this up, there may be too much of a gap. 
And if this is bent up, if there's a bend in here somewhere, the filter is then going to have to bend around and tweak itself to fit inside here. I'll have to research that a little bit. But anyway, this bracket is good. I can finish the bracket that's up underneath here and uh, see what we're doing next. Talk to you later. Howdy, everyone. So let me uh, recap here again. Um, it was about a week or so since I've worked on this, and I don't really remember exactly what all I had videotaped. So let me back up a little bit. If this is a repeat. I apologize, but I just want to make sure that I'm covering everything that I can with this installation. So the snorkel. I had decided to go ahead and put this diagonal bend into the ramp for the left side of the engine. The reason why I decided to do that is, the biggest reason is I want this edge to mate with the cowling opening as best as I can get it. And in order to do that, I felt that this bend was probably the simplest way to do it. That is how you do it if you don't have a snorkel. So I went ahead and did the bend. When you read the instructions to do the snorkel install, it specifically states to fit the baffles to the engine and to the cowling. The only thing it says not to do is to trim this front edge. Don't trim the edge. It doesn't say anything about not putting any kind of a bend in it. So I went ahead and put the bend in. At that point, it was just a matter of fitting the snorkel at the uh, uh, the servo inlet. Again, I made the wood puck and I was able to fine tune that diameter with tape, got it to fit to the servo nicely, got it to fit into the snorkel nicely. So that held that end roughly center onto the servo. And then it was just a matter of rotating the snorkel up into position. And like I had I believe I had talked about as you trim this, this end, not just this edge, but the whole snorkel on this end. As you trim that, you can bring the snorkel up closer and closer to this ramp. And in effect, that brings it inboard just a little bit. The more that you take off, the more you can bring this up and it kind of works its way in. But you don't want to get carried away with that because you don't want to cut it too short. So once I had it to the point where the puck, the wood puck was holding this end in alignment and this was in a position to where I was comfortable with it, I went ahead and drew an outline around the perimeter of the snorkel all the way around onto the ramp while it was actually touching. After I'd done that, then I went ahead and cut this down on all four sides to match the way that this ramp is. Because this is bent, all four of these sides had to be cut a little bit different. And if you look, it's going to be hard to tell. If you look at the top edge of this snorkel, you can see that the very front edge closest to the camera runs downhill from right to left. The left edge runs basically straight back, but then that back edge runs, it looks like it runs downhill, but it's basically flat across the back, and then the right edge actually runs back uphill to the corner that has the X on it. So it's, a, it's an odd shape, but if you look at the edges of the snorkel in relation to the entire face of the ramp, it's even all the way around. There's an even gap on all four sides. So the, the shape of this snorkel on all four sides matches the basic shape of this ramp, at least to the point where I'm happy with it. So I have gone ahead and removed the puck 
I've drilled my holes and I've cut it square. This, if you remember, was round on the snorkel. And I went ahead and got my bolts in, all four. I've got a gasket in there just cause. And I went ahead and trimmed it square. One reason to have the gasket in, of course these bolts are not tight, but it's, they're snug. Uh, the gasket, of course, is going to move the snorkel forward. And you want as much real world consistency as you can get, right? You don't want to have this trimmed and fit to the ramp. And then you put the gasket on, the gasket shifts everything forward, and then for whatever reason, things up here don't fit quite as nicely as you thought. So I went ahead, now that I'm going to actually do some final work up here, this interface, I want this to be secured as accurately as possible, so I put the gasket in. So these are snug, this is very secure. I've got my gap all the way around, consistent with the ramp. So now I can go ahead and put the hole in the ramp and then I can start fitting the different brackets and stuff that came with the snorkel kit to get the filter put in and to get this attached to the baffle. All right, again, I hope that makes sense. As you work through it, it will become a little bit more clear what you need to do. Um, but anywho, steady she goes. Talk to you guys later.